Hey, Wander or Andrew here, whichever you want to call me. Sorry it's been so long, but here's tutorial 11. Basically, I thought it'd be fun to just create a map as quickly as possible, just to give you guys some idea, the idea of how to make a map in its entirety. Um, okay, uh, before we get started, here is my channel. Um, you can subscribe if you want. But more importantly, I'd love for some ideas of what types of tutorials I should do, so just go down and make a channel comment saying blah blah blah, I'd like you to do a tutorial on how to draw and how to cut out a giant statue of, I don't know, somebody. So here we go. Pull up hammer, go to file new, create a box. Uh, make it however big you want. I'm going to make it pretty large just because it'll be fun that way. Make it tall. Press enter. If you can't see the map in the 3D view, click on the camera button and then click and drag outside the map and it should show up now. As you see, I've made it so the entire outside of the texture is the tool texture no draw. If you haven't done this yet, hit, click on the box, hit shift A, browse, put in tools and no draw should be there. Double click on it. Now what you're going to do is click on it, the box, hit shift H, which is hollowing out, put 12. Now you can go inside the box, and as you see it is hollowed out, and there's two, There's the no draw all around it. This is just to make it so everything, every time that you cut a piece, that outside section is going to be no draw texture, so it's not going to be rendered. Click on the box, hit the clipping tool in your side view, make drag across however tall you want the fence or whatever the outside to be. Make sure it's not red on the top, so you click the clipping tool until it's white on both sides. Hit enter. Now with hitting shift A, click while holding on to control on all the top parts including the ceiling. Hit browse, go to tools, you'll see skybox. Click on that, hit apply. Now skybox will be applied to the top area. What I'm going to do is hit Shift A and click on all the little fence area, put Browse, hit Fence. I'll add this bad boy right here, add whatever you want. What I do is I hit Fix and Justify, but as you see it's too wide, so go to the Texture Scale, hit 0.25, and it should make it wide enough so it's perfectly justified all around the map. Now I'm going to make by hitting browse on the ground, grass, apply that, there you go, now you have a simple map right away. What I'm going to do, what I tend to do is just make it so there's a 3D skybox before you add any details, so it's just the easiest. Make sure in your bird's eye view that the X in the middle of the map, which is the very center, is centered on this like blue-greenish X that's created. That is the very center of the map. Um, same with the bottom, make sure the bottom is centered as well and in the very bottom of the map. Now you're going to hit um, you're going to hit the entity tool which looks like a little guy without arms. Click on that guy, go down to sky camera in your objects and then in your 2D view make sure that you apply the the sky camera exactly in the center bottom of the map. As you see it shows up right there and click on the arrow and while holding control, hit on the skybox and your entire map. Now hold on to shift and drag it just to the side of the map. And you can just move over there and go find it on the side of the map. You have duplicated it to be over here as you see. Now what you want to do is you're going to scale it down. So hit control M with both the sky camera and the map selected. Hit control M. Scale it down for the X Y and Z values to 0 0.0625, 0 0.0625, 0 0.0625, hit enter, it's going to make it tiny. So what you do is you use this as a reference of where the map is going to be and where you want the, the 3D skybox to be like reflected so it looks like it's huge around the box. So what I tend to do is I click on... Um, the small little map that you have, hold shift and then duplicate it and then just make it really big. So just enlarge it around the entire map 
and there you go. So now as you see, this is what you're going to be looking at if you're tiny and looking out, and this will be enlarged around you. So there will be this giant 3D skybox around you. Now what you can do is you can just delete the small map, and then create whatever you want around here, and it's going to be it's, it's going to be in your 3D skybox. So what I'll do is I'll just create a couple buildings. Hit enter, so as you see, hit shift A, I'll give it a building, enter. So what you want to do, since all these textures are going to be enlarged by six fold or whatever it is, you're going to make it point zero two for everything, for both the X and the Y. And then same for the grass, point zero two, point zero two and then the fence also. So obviously you can create this however you want. Just make sure that the textures are small so when they get enlarged they don't look huge unless that's what you want to do. So, got this guy and I'm just going to duplicate him a few times around the map. So there you go, you have a bunch of buildings around your 3D skybox. So let's go back to our original map. Oh. Now what you're going to do is in the bird's eye view, select around this 3D skybox thing that you made, and then hit enter, that's just select everything, and then drag him down far away from the map, as far away in the bird's eye view and the side view as possible to one of the corners, so that way you won't be able to see it from your original map. Go back to your original map, delete the sky camera, and then now what you're going to do is create a bunch of counter terrace and terrace. So go to info, oh go to the entity tool, then go to info, um, go to objects and then go down to info player counter terrorist and create one guy. Just click it onto the map. He might be backwards so you can hit the fastest way is just to hit shift M, tab down to Z and hit 180 and it'll just hit him. Do a 180. Go in your bird's eye view, hold on to shift and alt, and just keep duplicating them until you have as many guys as you want. Like so. So now I've got, let's see, now I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of them, what you can do is in the bird's eye view, with the selection tool, select around all of them, hit enter. This is going to select everything, so hold control and unclick from the map, and then holding shift, drag them across the map to where you want the terrorist to be, which should be on the exact other side if you want symmetry. But if you look at them, not only are they counter terrorists, but they're faced the wrong way. Again, shift M with all of them selected, rotate, Z axis, 180. That should shift them all around in a 180 fashion. While holding onto control, click on one of them, double click, and make sure that he is selected again. This should bring up the, pro the object properties for all of them. You'll see info player counter terrorists. You want these to be terrorists. So delete the counter terrorists and put terrorists. It should fill it in for you. Press apply. So now, as you see, very quickly, you didn't have to re apply, re um, throw in more terrorists. You just had to duplicate them and change their property. So now we've got a map with counter terrace and terrace on either side. What you want to do is create a light or a light. Go to the entity tool, go down to light environment and in the 3D view make sure it goes up to one of the corners like so, it's going to be a little sun, and then what you're going to do is pull up your whatever internet browser you have, go to Google, and just put in sky list, sky list, 